Today we, today we got bench and deadlift. It's actually supposed to be a rest day today, but like the RPE has been so low that I don't see the point in resting for like the first week or two. Or like, I'll do like two days on, one day off. So like my deadlift and squat day aren't next to each other. So the day after deadlift, I don't have to squat, but I'm actually on the way to the gym. I almost had to go to the mall and exchange like the shoes, not my Addy Power 3s, the shoes my parents got because they're a yeah, women's nine and a half instead of a men's nine and a half, so they don't fit me. But yeah, we're actually gonna go to the gym now, and let's go. All right, you already know what's up. It might be two in the morning, but we're back with another voiceover. So I think it's like my tertiary, whatever bench day is like number three. So it's like one for five for four for three sets. That might work, I'm benching goes a little higher in the background, that guy on the back left hands on his hips for some reason he's wearing squat shoes overall um everything just felt normal no, no pain no crazy uh, bench grip uh i'll i want to try the bulldog grip but my grip i already have like wide clavicles and then like long arms so like i don't need to bulldog grip because i'm already like naturally and naturally just feels good to do normal grip so if I were to bulldog grip, I'd probably have to move my grip wider, which would probably get uncomfortable. I can see the bar path is good, it's touching the top of my abs like I wanted in the last video. Now this is close grip, or a 150. It's not actually like super close grip. According to the program, he wants you to move your fingers like two to three fingers in, which I just did right there. You can see that adjustment. Of course, I'm recording in 0.5, so my arms look small. I am small, so I guess that wouldn't make much of a difference. Yeah, 150 for four for three sets, I'm pretty sure. Nothing crazy. For some reason, it glitched out and I recorded in one, in one times instead of 0.5 here. So that's why you can actually see how fat I am. Because I'm a very bulky person, to say the least. Like my little, my little tummy right there. Uh, Zohar also put this pad down, which was interesting, to say the least. The bench. You can also see my friend Andy right there in the, the tank top on the bench to my left. Mm, pretty much it. Really trying to control the tempo right here, even though they're not a tempo bench. Now we're going to move on to the deadlifts. So this was the last one I set before the 325. It was pretty easy. Uh, but it felt heavy. I'm using my friends will hire deadlift slippers right here. It felt awkward to lift them because I've been doing it for the first time. And also, I tried sumo before this. So these are my background sets for the comp that worked. It's just 295 for two. Of course, it's recording in 0.5, so my arms look extremely skinny. That's Jimmy on my left. That's Sohire's coach. He helps him with form and stuff. Pretty much it. Still in the slippers. I'm pretty sure I took them off like when the pause cells come. So it's still comp deadlifts. 295 for two for three sets. That's Ohio again in the back. My headphones fall off but got them real quick. For some reason, my headphones always fall off my head when I deadlift. I think my form is good here. Even though my back is rounding, the arch is still, my upper back arch is still not bad. I'm in the vans now, so I feel a lot more comfortable. I had to adjust my headphones because they always fall off my head. Here's the pause deadlifts, pause them one inch out the floor, then pull. Felt extremely heavy because uh, today was supposed to be on rest day. We'll talk about that later. Anyways. The last set of pause up is. I don't think I edited this video, so this one or this clip 
so this one's gonna be like extra long for some reason. Nothing really to say. I mean, everything is like RP6, but this felt like RP, RP like 10, bro. Look how heavy. This one I actually try to keep my chest up, as you can see, and I had to move the bar like in because it was actually gonna drop on the wood plate, and I did not want that to happen. And boom, lightweight. You already know what's up. And all right, see y'all. So we just got done with the gym. I don't. The AC is like loud as shit. I'm gonna lie. Oh, it's a, I mean, today was relatively easy. Supposed to be a rest day, but RP was like super low, so I just went again. Not gonna lie. And for some reason, my Instagram is like blowing up. Not my main Instagram. I'm getting a bunch of notifications. Not me right now, probably gonna eat later. This guy walking across. Um, I should have collected my thoughts before I did this, not gonna lie. But deadlifts felt super heavy, as you've seen already. Hopefully the intro is funny. I'm trying to like actually put some effort in. It makes one thing better every time. Yeah. Yep, um, so there was like, I don't think I filmed a post-gym video, so. And I was like really tired after the gym. I was so tired, like I didn't want to pick up food. I really should. I did film a post gym video, huh? Yeah, I really shouldn't have gone today. Today was like the weight moved, but like I don't know, it felt it still felt bad. Like afterwards, like I haven't had a single gram of protein today. All I've had was a Gatorade and like. 30 cookies, bro. Oh my god, those Nutella cookies. I've, I had that bag in the morning, and I had a bag after the gym. The entire bag is 1,400 calories. So I think I ate 2,000 calories of cookies alone. I kind of feel like, ah, no. I, it's, everything's like honed in, except my diet. My diet and my fatigue, ah. I don't know. I kind of like, I pride myself on like consistency, but like, I'm not consistent. You know? Like, when you actually analyze, hold on, I'm gonna take this off. When you actually analyze like what I'm doing, now I'm gonna try to come fuck. Can't get a ticket, I think, for having a one. When you actually analyze like what I'm doing, there's so many things I'm doing wrong, and I know it, and that pisses me off, bro. It's just, I always have these excuses for the problems that I have, like, I don't eat a lot, because I have no appetite. Okay, if you have no appetite, like, make one, bro. Just go on the treadmill for an hour, go in the sauna, try, go outside. Like, I don't go outside for, like, leisurely stuff. Like, for walks, to, like, go play sports. I just, I don't do that. I'm a very at-home, at-home person. I don't actually, like, I don't do that stuff. Like, I know the solutions for all my problems, but I ha also have my excuses for all my problems. Kind of, like, outweighs what I want to happen, right? It's kind of crazy. And it's always at night where I think of these things. Like, right as I'm editing the video. But I haven't edited it yet. So, there's that. And also, the phone's upright because I have to put it in the cup holder. So, it doesn't really, like, fall anywhere. I'm pretty tired. <sighs> I took a nap for, like, an hour and a half at, like, 9. And it's 10.30 right now. We're heading to Taco Bell because I think that's one of the only higher protein options open. I don't feel like eating Whataburger because, like, bro, what is up? You know what I'm talking about? We have it. Oh, all right. We have Whataburger, but if I go to Taco Bell, I'm getting like, chicken quesadilla, three cheese, chicken wrap, uh, chicken. A lot of burrito and uh, a 
Baja Blast and Taco. That'll set me for sure. Right? But back to what I was saying, like, I know all the issues I have. I know why my progress is not going to be as uh, significant as it could have been. But, I don't know. I know that if I make the changes, it's going to be, it's game over, bro. It's over. I will literally take over. You know? And it's like, am I, what, just, is that a cyber truck? That is a cyber truck. If I pride myself over, that's not a cyber truck. If I pride myself over what could have been, then I'm just going to keep on holding myself back. Why is that guy flashing? Fuck you. You know when, you, you know when you're going like 15 over the speed limit and like people are riding your fucking ass, bro? Like, I understand what's going on. That guy? Oh, he's a Texas plate. That's what's up, right? That's a Lucid. I haven't seen, like, I haven't driven next to a Lucid like this. Ever. Yeah, this clip's been rolling for a little bit. Yeah, I just want to uh, talk a little bit about, like, what's been going through my mind past past few, past week, actually. It's just, like, if I'm going to keep treating my body like shit, it's going to perform like shit. If I'm going to put my body in these, like, bad situations, it's going to... It's not gonna, I don't know, it's, it's not like awful or anything, but yeah, I really need to like, hone in and like fine tune everything to, if I really want this meat uh, in 25 weeks to go good, yeah, I really need to, I need to lock in for sure. I didn't want to use that term because that's like, that's kind of cringe and like overused. But yeah, we're heading to Taco Bell right now. I'm gonna try to like, force feed as much food as possible oh yeah it, it really sucks all right guys uh thanks for watching honestly if you made it this one like and subscribe if you want i don't really care please yeah. <laughs> i see y'all